Hi everyone, this is Scott David with Repair DJ Gear. Let's get into disassemble procedure of the Tractor S4. Okay, basically the first step is to remove the fader and pot knobs. Let's do that. Once those are removed, we're gonna take off the fascia plates, starting with the center. And we're gonna use a solvent that is non-harmful to plastic, which we apply around the cracks, and then we're gonna insert a, a razor blade, and then use a plastic prying tool to carefully remove the fascia plate. The fascia plate can be bent to a certain degree, but don't use any heat at all. Do not use a heat gun to remove this. All right, now we're gonna take off deck A and deck B plates. Do not bend the aluminum plates. They are very difficult to become straight again. Now we're gonna remove 22 nuts, nine millimeter and 10 millimeter. Flip it over carefully and shake it to get all of the hardware off of the pots. Flip it over again, and now remove 22 screws that is securing the bottom portion of the case, and there's one screw underneath the sticker. You can use a heat gun if you want to remove that sticker. It's, uh, it's not that bad. All right, remove the case bottom, and now we're going to remove the two screws and two knobs from the pots on the front of the controller. And now we're going to remove the 12 connectors from the sound card. The headphone sound card has three pots on it. Remove those knobs. And then there's the quarter inch jack nut that you have to remove with an adjustable wrench. There's two connectors on that PCB. Remove both or one of them, whichever you like. Not a big difference. Remove that PCB. Keep notes of where the electrical connectors go to. Very important. Now we're going to remove six screws on deck A and B, totaling 12. And lastly, remove the 10 screws. Keep notes of where the electrical connectors attach from the deck PCBs and the center PCB. You're going to remove the jog wheel platter connector and the deck to center PCB connectors.